Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. Today I am going to show you one of the most frustrating issue which you can face after changing the storage controller mode or upgrading or replacing your SSD. The inaccessible boot device blue screen error. If you have seen this blue screen pop up after changing your SATA mode from RAID to AHCI in your Dell, HP or Lenovo BIOS, don't panic. I will walk you through step by step to fix it. Here, I'll be demonstrate using a Dell PC. Don't worry, the process is pretty much same for HP or Lenovo model and if you have an Acer model, then here's a certain tutorial for you. So, let's get started. At first, let me show you what is the actual problem in my case. As you can see, during installation of the Ubuntu on our Dell PC, here shows that this computer uses Intel Rapid Storage technology and RST should be disabled in Windows. But my Windows does not have any RST control feature to disable Intel Rapid Storage technology. So when I am going to disable it from BIOS, and change the setup mode from RAID to AHCI, and save configuration changes and exit from BIOS As you can see when Windows boots after rebooting, here shows inaccessible boot device blue screen error. Ok now in that case the next step is to boot into safe mode. So your system can install necessary drivers for AHCI. Now just follow me to do that. Now be patient, after 2 or 3 times failing to boot, Windows will automatically boot into Windows recovery environment or you can restart your laptop and press F8 or shift F8 right after the BIOS flash screen to open the advanced boot option. From here, select safe mode. Once you have booted into safe mode, Windows should automatically detect and install the correct AHCI drivers. However, you can double check by going to device manager and confirming that ID, ATA and ATAPI controllers now include AHCI driver. After that, restart your system one last time. And that's it, your system should now boot up normally without the inaccessible boot device error. If you are still experiencing issues, you might want to double check your BIOS settings or ensure all the system drivers are up to date. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment and share, we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you, thanks for watching, have a nice day.